Hey, hey, just a quick intro to this video. Dale and I are fishing a spot that I've been fishing for the last few weeks and we've also fished it over the last few years. At the beginning of the video, we're fishing one style and technique and as the day goes on, we have to change it up a bit and by the end, we're fishing a completely different style and technique. So keep your eye on that. Also on the way back, we stop and do some squid fishing and show you a little trick or two to try and get that extra squid in the boat. So keep your eye on that one as well. Sit back and enjoy. What do you think you got, Dale? Yeah. <laughs> Nanny guy. We got stray lines out and uh, they're picking up heaps of nanny guy and bits and pieces but the reedy rigs we got down, we're using a blue reedy rigs that's picked up snapper all morning so yeah it just goes to show you got to try everything guys. I don't know, bad call, another small snapper but they're beautiful pan size there. Hey the other one just went. <laughs> I'm cameraman, Dale's fisherman today. So yeah, beautiful easy size fish. They're 35, 38 centimetre fish. Absolutely glorious. Can't get much better than that. Another penny on Reedy Rigs. Mr. Reed does it again. What do you got on here, Dale? Uh, a little ready. And what do you reckon? What, what do you have? You had one of the new Tanya jig heads on. Yeah, yep. Right? Look at that. That's a slightly nicer fish. It's probably pushing 45. But as you can see, we've got the Tanya jig head with a stinger using a plastic. <coughs> Beautiful. Nice size fish. Look at that, Mr. Reed! Look at that! Ooh, getting nice, eh? Again, uh, Dale just got a hit on that Tenure jig head. Um, they're bloody unreal jig heads. They sit on the bottom and they actually you, you, they're sitting on the bottom, but your bait's sticking straight up the shape of the jig head. So your bait's always working or your plastic's always working.
Beautiful size eating fish, 35s. 35, 35, Dale's going off. Beautiful size, aren't they? Best table fish you can get. Put them in there with the rest of them. That's my line going down there. Hopefully you can see it. Anyway, there was nothing on the screen and that was my line going down and wacko, I got hit. And I said to Dale, it was about 10 or 15 metres earlier. We've been getting hit about five metres off the bottom. Anyway, Dale said, look at the screen. Anyway, they're all snapper. Whether you believe it or not, I just pulled a snapper up. And uh, that's how thick the snapper are at the moment here. Um, and yeah, we've just caught well over 20. We've probably had 25 in the boat today. And if someone didn't, if I didn't pull up a snapper out of that, I probably wouldn't even think it was snapper. Anyway, bit of useless information for okay, you. Whatever that score is, have a good look at what it looks like, because that's what it's going to be, what I'm bringing up. Look at that. Snapper. 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 There you go, two dollar jig, first cast, beautiful squid. Hey, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Nice fish, nice fish. Very nice fish. Straight out, you can see where I am. Now what Dale's doing, let me just turn this shit down. What Dale's doing is I've got a squid on, so Dale's gone out over the top of me. You usually find a lot of the times you'll get two or three hanging together. So um, I sort of wind in slowly and try and let Dale uh, pin another one behind there. And this is a really nice, yep, and Dale's on, you see, perfect. Very nice fish. Look at that. 
I can picture this one. So just just to go over what happened then, you you hopefully we got it on camera, but what happened is I threw out and Dale was out a different direction and I got on. So of course you hold your rod up as high as you can go to bring them to the surface and they usually self-ink themselves. When I'm coming in, I'm giving Dale enough time to wind his lure in and go out afterwards because a lot of the time you'll find that if you're pulling in a squid, there's usually one or two behind it, and it works so often. How's the donkey? Hey, I'm on. I'm on. Yep, I'm on. Straight over there. So again, I've hopefully you got that. I was just straightening the camera after I cast. This is the next cast after the last one. So Dale now's gone out to try and get one behind it. Now I'm using a natural colour and Dale's using a bright green. I'm using a 3.5, he's using a 1.5. And we're both getting squid. So on a day like today, I don't think um, colour or anything really matters. But 